What is going on YouTube? Joe here with Culination Media and welcome back to another live Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle against a subscriber slash follower on Twitter. Today we are up against Blackleaf in yet another and new match. I know a couple of episodes ago I decided that, um, or I not decided, but I said I'm not going to use this team for three battles, but you know what? I changed my mind because I really enjoyed playing with this team in the last battle a lot. And the first battle I kind of just, I don't know, I'm still a little bit salty about that. Still, just still haven't gotten over that. Um, so it didn't feel like a complete battle for me, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use them again I hope you guys don't mind Beedrill put in so much work in the last episode I hope that uh, we can continue that today before we get started if you guys can if you haven't done so already And you would like to show some support to the channel and the series and all that good stuff All you got to do is click that thumbs up button right below this video remember it does really help out That's the only reason that I know you guys by uh, reminding you every single video I know I'm sure it, you get tired of hearing it sometimes but um, it is important to me, and I do appreciate when you guys uh, give back to me in that way. It really does uh, help me out. Makes me feel good. You know, all that good stuff. I say all that good stuff way too much. I need to tone it back. Tone it back. So, all right. Uh, I should probably let you know what our team is looking like. We got our Scarf Beedrill, Specially Defensive Kragonol, Physically Defensive Rotom Fan. I almost called it Rotom Wash because there's a Rotom Wash in my party. That would be Ken, and we don't have Ken, we have Winley, the Rotom fan. Uh, then we have Eviolite Rhydon, and uh, Focus Ash Sawsbuck, and then Choice Specs Semipor. So, pretty uh, balanced team, very Rocks weak team, which is a bit unfortunate. We do have the Rapid Spin. Another Typhlosion, and another Cradley. I've been seeing those two Pokemon a lot lately. So we got uh, Typhlosion, Cradley, then we've got Altaria, Stoutland, Dust Noir, and Excelgore. I would like to say that the Excelgore is going to lead things off for spikes, because that's typically what they do. Specially defensive, Altaria is a thing. Specially defensive, Cradley is also a thing. Uh, the Altaria could be packing the Defog. We could also see the Stealth Rock on the uh, Cradley, as well as the spikes on the Excelgore. I think I mentioned that already. Uh, the Typhlosion is usually, usually Typhlosions are choiced, either Choice Specs or Choice Scarf. Choice Scarf is a little bit more standard, but I've been seeing uh, Choice Specs a little bit more often, if that makes any sense. I don't know, I had trouble with that sentence. Uh, Dust Noir is usually defensive, although AV with Power of Punch is uh, kind of an up and coming set that I've seen used a little bit. Uh, and then Stalin, I'm not really sure what that could be. I mean, I've seen AV Stalin and it actually works really well. But other than that, I'm not really sure. I'm really, really not. So, what are we going to lead off with? I kind of want to get up Rocks immediately. Because he's got one, two, three Pokemon weak. And we're going to lower the power of that eruption on the Typhlosion too. So, that is uh, first things first here. I don't see anything that would uh, prevent that from happening. He does have a spin blocker. So we need to keep that in mind. Because we only have two Pokemon that uh, levitate over those spikes. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Rhydon seems to be the uh, dedicated lead here for rocks. That's just what I've been doing recently. I don't know. It's not the best lead Pokemon, but getting up those rocks, it can usually uh, it can usually sponge a hit, depending on you know what it is, obviously, with the Eevee Light. But any physical hit, it usually will take. So we see Groot coming out here, which is going to be the Cradley. Uh, maybe for rocks, maybe predicting the Rhydon. So we're going to have to basically sacrifice Rhydon here. <laughs> if we want to get rocks up and if he has the defog or anything, I just I don't think that's worth it So we're gonna predict a giga drain or rocks of his own and What are we gonna go out into? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh Another thing we need to keep in mind is puddles cannot just come out and start spamming choice specs surf because uh, the Storm drain is a thing. It is a definite thing So let's go ahead and actually bring out do I want to bring out Buzz? Yeah, because if he goes for Giga Drain, then uh, we really don't have anything to worry about. And we can get off a nice U-turn, which will be super effective on this. And it should deal a nice amount of damage, and we can pivot into our Kragonol. Oh my goodness, he went for the Stone Edge, predicting... Oh my gosh, I got so lucky right there. He predicted either the Beedrill or the Kragonol to come out. Probably the Kragonol, to be fair. But still, if that Stone Edge hit, and this is Offensive Cradley, which I'm guessing it is, that was a dead as anything buzz. I, I just got very, very lucky there. I'm sorry about that miss, man. I really am. Stone Miss sucks. It does. It gets the best of me all the time. So I feel your pain on that one. Now, I'm going to go for the U-turn because that's my only play. i got to get the heck out of here now that I know he has a Rock-type move. He's staying in on this. And 
Oh my goodness, that does so much damage. Are you kidding me? That did a ridiculous amount of damage. Uh, what do I want to go into? I don't really know. I'm kind of scared of the Stone Edge coming my way. But I'm also kind of scared of a Giga Drain. I don't, in fact, I don't have a safe switch into this. I don't. I don't have any, I don't have any switch in. Stone Edge kills Kragnall and it kills, uh, well, it won't kill Winley. Yeah, we're going to go into Winley. We can take a Stone Edge. Not well, but we can take it. Uh, he's going to go for the Curse. I'm just going to burn you. That's just all there is to it. I'm going to burn you. That is scary as anything. That is scary as anything. I'm guessing he's thinking that... These lefties. I'm guessing uh, he was thinking that U-Turn was not going to do that much. That did a butt-ton of damage. So judging by the fact that he's a Curse set, normally the way this works is when Pokemon are running Curse... Uh, or bulk up or something, they tend to be specially defensive. So, or have investment, not necessarily fully specially defensive. But immediately here, I'm going to try to burn you. And I don't know if you're going to want to go into the Typhlosion. I kind of want to Volt Switch, but it's not worth it at this point. It's really not. So he's going to withdraw. I'm guessing the Typhlosion is coming out, but I had to go for it. I couldn't let him just set up all over the place. There's the Grim Reaper. And it is, oh, it's this thing. Okay, are you specially defensive? Uh, I don't know what you're doing, but you're going to absorb that burn, which is great because it's normally a physical attacker, so that's great. Absolutely fantastic. And a nice uh, little amount of residual damage. And we can just go ahead and... I mean, we can take this thing on fairly well, to be fair. I'm going to Volt Switch out, though. I don't know what you're going to want to do to me, so I'm just going to get out of here for now. He may just go for a Will-O-Wisp to try to get some residual damage of his own, and that does some okay damage, so I'm going to say you're not specially defensive because we're uninvested. Maybe you're offensive, but you're staying in. So I kind of feel like you're going for a status move. So I don't want to switch in Buzz, even though Knockoff might just kill, depending on what his spread is. Um, let's see, what can we afford to have burned? Only Puddles, basically. So we'll go into Puddles here. I think Ice Beam might kill after some more burn damage, to be fair. To be completely fair. Uh, Ice Punch! Okay. I am just beyond uh, confused at what's going on here. And we see the Life Orb. He is offensive as anything, so we are free to go for an Ice Beam here. That will kill, and if he wants to predict a Water-type move and switch into the Cradley, that's just going to die to an Ice Beam. I'm not going to go for Surf with that Cradley around unless I'm absolutely sure he's not going to switch it in. And I'm not sure about that right now, so... We're going to go for the Ice Beam, that's a safe play. No, he's just going to leave this thing in to die because it is burned and it's taken a lot of damage already. Oh wait, it doesn't go down to that, wow. Wow, Choice Specs Ice Beam is not enough. Surf would have been enough and we allow him to get up the Trick Room, which stinks. So he Trick Room, Ice Punch, I guess Shadow Punch or Shadow Sneak, one or the other. I don't know, it's an interesting set, uh, but now Groot can come out and can kill us with a seed bomb so we need to switch and unfortunately I don't have anything that can just burn turns of this basically basically that's what I'm saying um and I think him getting that trick room up is gonna net him a kill regardless it just it depends on what I want to let go down here I am not positive that he doesn't have something to carry rocks on the team, so I don't want to let Kragnall go until I'm sure that he that this Crater Lead is not carrying the rocks. I want to I want to say it's not though. I really want to say that it's not because if it's got Curse and Stone Edge, why would you be carrying rocks? He's probably got hmm. What else? Curse, Stone Edge, Seed Bomb. What would his other move be? Maybe it is rocks. I don't know. And, and he has the Altaria too, so Ice Beam will be nice for that. So if anything, I want to predict a Grass-type move here and go into Windley. And I think he's going to predict that and go for a Stone Edge, but we can take one of those. Maybe two? I don't know. I don't know. Windley is thick, though. Windley took a plus six play rough from a Slurpuff in the last Wi-Fi battle, and that was insane. Only four HP remaining. Oh, he's going to go for the Recover. Okay, so we can burn you then, because... We just can. You're not going to go into your Typhlosion. I just don't see that happening because the Trick Room is up. So then we would outspeed you and it would be a whole big thing. So we know what his moveset is now. Uh, we haven't actually seen the Seed Bomb, but I'm pretty sure that's what he's carrying. So we got Recover, Curse. 
and then a stone edge rounding out this. I don't know why I didn't think it recover. That's a pretty common thing to carry. If you're if you're running setup moves on a bulkier Pokemon, especially one this slow, recovery, you know, is just the way to go. So we're gonna go for the Willow. He might predict that. Uh, no, he's just gonna try to kill us with a Stone Edge, and it misses again. Two Stone misses. Now that was not gonna kill in any universe because I'm fully physically defensive. Although Stone Edge also does have a high critical hit ratio, so I guess you never know. But uh, he missed out on getting all kinds of damage, and he got burned because the Willow connected. That is that is nonsense. He's missed two Stone Edges in a row. That's that's complete nonsense. I'm sorry, it is. It really is. I'm sorry about that. Um, but I guess uh, there's not much I can do about it. I guess I can't, you know, take it back or anything. So we're just going to continue. And my team is looking awfully healthy right now. Look at this. Everyone's at full health except for Puddles. And it's only, you know, she's only taking just a little bit of damage. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and I kind of want to just go for Air Slashes. I'm not really afraid of this thing now. I mean, I'm really not. We can see how much it does. But I also kind of want to go into Ride on a Dragon Tail if he wants to start setting up curses. I'm not sure. Or, or he could switch out into the Altaria. If it's packing the Heal Bell, this burn's not going to matter that much to him. So, what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to Volt Switch out here and just see what he does. He does continually go for the Stone Edge. He still outspeeds. Um, and yeah, that was not going to kill without the burn. It would have done a nice chunk. He finally connects with the Stone Edge, by the way. That's just ridiculous. The Volt Switch doesn't do that much. And we should be in a position to, I guess, get a Brox here. Is that really what I want to do? I don't think the Trick Room runs out this turn. I, I don't think so whatsoever. I think he still has one more turn left. I think one or two. Should have been keeping track. Should have been keeping track of that. I guess Rhydon is our play here. I don't think Seed Bomb will kill with Eevee Light, even though it's four times super effective. I just, I don't see that happening. It's, it's going to do a lot of damage, but I really want those rocks up for that Typhlosion because having it come in and just eruption everything really scares the crap out of me because my team is very weak to fire. I got three weaknesses to it. I only have Rhydon and Simipore to resist it. Simipore really doesn't take hits too well, so that is a thing. I'm going to set up the rocks here. He's going to go for the curse. That is uh, pretty okay with me, actually. I'm fairly okay with that. Because I'm going to get my rocks up, and we can dragon tail him away and not be worried about it. And he also burned a trick room turn. So uh, we'll see. Does it end this turn, or is it the following turn? The question is, though, will a seed bomb kill a, from this range? And that's uh, what's a little bit scary. No, it is going to run out here. He is plus one defense, so I don't think Rock Blast will be killing anytime soon. Um, do we dare try? I mean, we can then come in with Puddles to KO with the Ice Beam, but we have to sacrifice our Rhydon, which I don't know if I want to do. Yeah, we need, we need to Dragon Tail. I mean, I know it's at full health, but I don't have a switch in. The grass rock coverage poops on my team, just like you can. You, blah, blah, just like you cannot believe. Does that make sense? Probably not. Probably not. I never make sense. Go over the dragon tail. He's gonna go for curse again. That is a big mistake, my friend. Maybe predicting a switch. I don't know. But as long as this dragon tail connects, uh, this cradley is getting out of here. So that is just fantastic for us. And it connects, which is great. That doesn't do anything because he's plus two defense. And we're going to see the typhlosion come out, and that's not what he wants. It's not what he wants, unless you are Specs with HP Grass. Or, hmm. I don't know if Choice Scarf HP Grass will kill through Eevee Light. I'm not sure. I know uh, Choice Specs does, just from previous experience. Just, was it the last battle or the battle before? I don't know. I've seen Typhlosion a lot. A lot of these NU teams have Typhlosion in it. So, that uh, is a possibility. Now, do we have a switch into that? I don't really have a switch into Typhlosion. Like I said, Fire does poop on this team. Rhydon is my answer to that. So I think I just want to go for a Rock Blast. Or no, EQ should kill. I don't want to risk missing the Rock Blast if I do survive. Yeah, we're going to go for the EQ here. Uh, he's going to go for the Focus Blast, so he's not packing the HP Grass. It might be HP Rock. I don't think that'll kill. 
Uh, now we survive at 27 HP and we get a nice EQ off. And we still don't know if he was uh, Specs or Scarf. I'm assuming one or the other because that's what just about every Typhlosion set is. Although uh, you could run it with Life Orb too, but I think it's much more effective as a uh, choice user. So huge threat out of the way. That is amazing for us because, like I said, our team is very fire weak. Out comes the Cradley, which I think we might be able to kill with a Rock Blast. I'm not going to bother going for the Dragon Tail. So uh, we know this thing doesn't carry Trick Room or anything. Even I don't even know if it can learn Trick Room. It's, it's a Psychic type move. Let's just go for that Rock Blast. And uh, we do outspeed because Cradley is slow as anything. We're going to need, I think, four hits. Will one more? Ooh, wait, no, three hits is going to be enough. And the Cradley goes down. All right, fantastic. Reese the Rhydon picking up two kills on the Typhlosion and the Cradley. So uh, that Cradley was a problem. Offensive Cradley under Trick Room is scary. Very, very scary. Indeed. So now what you're going to go into, basically anything, because as long as it's faster than Rhydon, you win. That's what it is. Altaria can come out and finish me off here. It's not like I have priority. Scotland. Is that the Stoutland? Scotland the Stoutland is going to come out. And he takes a little bit of damage due to rocks. We're going to see the Intimidate. So I'm going to guess this is more of a defensive build. I don't really know. But I'm going to Dragon Tail uh, if I get to survive a hit here. I'm not going to save this Rhydon. I'm just, I'm sacking it at this point. It, it has done what it needs to do. It set up rocks. It picked up two kills. We got the Typhlosion removed. So um, that's just awesome. That's just fantastic. Unfortunately, it'd take a butt ton of damage to get rid of that Typhlosion, but uh, mission accomplished regardless. So I don't know what this will have for me. Uh, maybe Ice Fang? No, play rough. All right, fair enough. That should kill. Yeah, we're not taking that. We're just not taking that. Uh, play rough, though. When maybe you are offensive. I don't know. Uh, what do we want to go into? We can go into puddles and start surfing things because of the fact that Cradley is gone. So that is always good. And then we can revenge kill it with... Uh, no, I really want to save this Ice Beam. I really do. I really, really do. So we are actually going to go into Sawsbuck here. I should outspeed this thing. Pretty sure. Hmm. Actually, I think I'm adamant. I might not outspeed. So we're not going to go for a Swords Dance for that very reason. I'm going to go for a Jump Kick. It's super effective. That should kill without an Intimidate. So probably the better play there would be to go into the Rotom. That probably would have been my, uh, my smarter play. He's going to withdraw Scotland here. So I guess we could have got a Swords Dance off. Out comes Fluffy, that's the Altaria. Predicting a Jump Kick, not bad. Not bad at all. Now, uh, we'll see how much this does. Probably not much. Oh, that does a nice chunk. But we get hurt by the Rocky Helmet. Are you physically defensive Altaria? Interesting. What do you have for me, though? What do you have for me? I kind of want to just go for a Double Edge. But I feel like I can get up a Swords Dance here and be okay. Huh. Physically defensive Altaria. Interesting. I mean, I guess it could just be specially defensive with a Rocky Helmet. I don't know. That's also possible. Oh, he could have Cotton Guard. He could have Cotton Guard, and that is really not something I would enjoy so much. Thus, the Rocky Helmet. That's actually a really good idea. That is a really good idea. It works really well with uh, Furfru, obviously, which I was tempted to bring to this uh, team. Not this specific battle, but on this team. But I decided against it because I've been using it a lot lately. I've been using Kraganol a lot lately, too. And that really hasn't stopped me from bringing it uh, in, like, every single episode. But still, it's just a lot of fun. I enjoy Kraganol. I hope you guys don't mind that I bring it a lot. I'm going to set up a Swords Dance. See what you do. If you go for the Cotton Guard, then um, I guess we can switch at that point. I guess we can switch. Uh, he does go for the Cotton Guard. We should have went for the Double Edge for some damage. Because we're not going to be doing anything to him. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. But we can switch out into our puddles here. I don't think you can one-shot us with anything. I'm not really afraid. Because you're a defensive build. You might even go for Roost. I don't know. We'll see. There's the beautiful puddles. And we're going to see the Dragon Dance. Drag Double Dancing Altaria is scary as anything. 
Okay, this is this is beginning to be a bit. Yeah, this is beginning to get a little bit scary now. I mean, Altaria's attack is pretty bad, but uh, Puddle's defenses are pretty bad. So we're gonna try to hit you with an ice beam here. He's gonna try to kill us off with a Dragon Claw plus one. Will that be enough? No, it will not. 17 HP is what we survive on. That's gonna be a dead fluffy. Four times super effective. Simipore finally picking up a kill. I mean, we got a kill on the, what was it, the Dustmar earlier on? But still, I want to see Simipore put in some more work. I probably should have given it a Life Orb as opposed to Choice Specs, but I wanted something that can kind of sort of hit hard. Perhaps I should have given it Hydro Pump. I just really don't like the missing factor of Hydro Pump because it happens way too often for me. You've seen how much Stone Edge is missed in this battle and how it's affected the battle. Uh, it hasn't been exactly game changing as it could have been but he missed some, uh, some really just unfortunate stone edges and it just it kind of stinks so when you can help it you know going for a move that has better accuracy is sometimes uh, preferable i don't know i'm just kind of talking out my wazoo here out comes sonic the excel gore and i don't know what you're going to do to me but i'm just going to sack off puddles here with 17 hp we see the giga drain come out and uh that is fine this thing is uh, offensive, interestingly enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. So maybe you're even choice specs. I don't know. That'd be cool. Choice specs uh, Excel Gore. That can work. That can definitely work. Now, I don't think even our choice scarf, um, choice scarf, whatchamacallit, Beedrill outspeeds this thing. But if he's locked in, we can go into either Winley or uh, Buzz here and be fine. We didn't see a life orb. Maybe he was focus sash and it's just broken. Hmm. We didn't see lefties, right? No, that recovery was Giga Drain recovery, not lefties. That's what was confusing me there for a second. I don't know if Air Slash will kill though. That's the thing. And we can go for a knockoff, maybe. No, that makes no sense whatsoever. I don't think he can kill Beedrill in one hit with anything. I really don't. Even if he has HP Fire, and if he's Focus Sash, I'm pretty sure we can survive a hit and get a U-turn off, and that's going to deal a nice chunk of damage. So we're going to go for that. If he wants to switch, then uh, we'll get some nice momentum and U-turn damage off in his final Pokemon. Uh, so we're, we're still in a good position here. He's going to withdraw, so I'm going to say that is Choice Specs Excel Gore. Out comes the Scotland. The Stoutland, which is going to get a nice little Intimidate off, but he's going to take damage due to rocks, and the Excel Gore is going to take more damage due to rocks, too. Uh, and it's super effective, so it's 25% per switch in. So that's not going to put him in the best situation. Here we go, we get a nice U-turn off, and Buzz is going to come back to us, and we can go ahead and send in Winley here, which I'm pretty sure can survive a hit and burn it. And that'll put us in a nice, uh, nice little position. I keep saying everything is putting us in a position. I'm all about the positions today. It's just what it is. We get some free lefties recovery, which is always nice. Do I trust lefties to hit? We kind of need it to hit, so we're going to go for it. We may see a return here. Um, maybe Ice Fang if he carries it. We've already seen uh, Play Rough, and I think that's the only move that he showed. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what Stoutland normally carries. Like I said, really the only Stoutland I've seen so far is Assault Vest. I've seen it two or three times, and every time it was against people who bring kind of kooky sets a lot of times. As the Will-O-Wisp is going to miss, and he's going to get off a return, uh, that does absolutely nothing. I mean, it does a nice chunk, let's be fair. It, it does a nice chunk to a physically defensive Winley, but it would have done a lot less if we got the Will-O-Wisp off. So, I am going to... Is he going to predict... I really don't want him to just switch in his Excel Gore for free here. I really don't want that. So, I'm going to Volt Switch out. I'm going to Volt Switch out to get possibly some damage off on the Excel Gore if it wants to come in. It's not going to kill. He may be thinking, am I going to Volt Switch? Am I going to go for another will o -Wisp? There are options here. I guess I could go for Pain Split, but now that probably isn't a good play. I mean, look at where the HP of the Stoutland is. That's just, yeah, that's not, that's not reasonable. So uh, we're still, we're still okay here. The downside is we need to be careful with Sawsbuck. He is going to withdraw. Should have went for the Air Slash. That would have been the best possible scenario. 
Uh, but we are gonna get a nice, a nice a chunk. Uh, why do I always talk like that? I know I'm Italian, but I don't need to like just throw it out there so much. Oh my goodness, we get a crit. Are you serious? Uh, RNG has been pooping on my opponent in this match. Absolutely just pooping. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely disgustingly ridiculous. Um, let's see. What do we go out into? I guess we're going to go out into Buzz here because he's going to get an Intimidate off. So I don't know if the Jump Kick would kill. I really don't know. I really don't know. So, oh, he's going to take Rock's damage, so that's cool. And there's the Intimidate. I guess we could just go for Poison Jab to see if it will kill. I would like to see Buzz get this kill. I mean, does it really matter? Not really, because we know Winley's faster, so we can just go for Volt Switch to kill it. So, as long as we get some damage here, we're in good shape, and that'll uh, seal the match for us. So, there's the Poison Jab. That's not quite going to be enough to kill. As he goes for Play Rough, we avoid the attack. Of course, 90% accuracy move. He's missed two Stone Edges. He missed a Play Rough. Uh, we missed a Willow, but that was really it. I'm trying to think. And, and we had that crit on the Excelgore, which mattered. The Volt Switch was not going to kill, I don't think. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, so that is going to be a 4-0 in our favor as this Poison Jab should take out the Statland. Yes, sir, it does. Buzz getting a kill. I love it when Beedrill gets a kill. It just makes my day. I don't know why. I just, I love Scarf Beedrill. It's so good. Okay, it's not the best thing in the world, but it works. That's that's the important thing. It actually works. It's great to see Beedrill actually have some use. Uh, so that's going to be the match. I want to say thank you to my opponent, uh, Mr. Blackleaf, I believe his username was. So uh, good match to you. You played well. It uh, was unfortunate how the hacks kind of just pooped all over you constantly in this match. So I'm sorry about that. But I do look forward to our next battle. I uh, hope you enjoyed yourself. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video as well. Like I said, I had a lot of fun using this team. That's why I wanted to bring you this extra battle with it. Uh, I'll be going into a different tier. I don't know if I want to do RU. I may even do some mixed tier battles again. Uh, or maybe, maybe even do OU, even though I don't really know uh, the tier so well and I just kind of don't like it. But we'll see. We'll see what uh, comes our way. So uh, if you want to get a battle, make sure you're following me on Twitter. That is where I ask for all these matches and such. And uh, with that being said, that is all I have to say today. So I will see you guys for the next battle. But until then, game on.